Several of you have asked how we design our puzzle boxes, uh, if we do it in Lego first, or if we design in a particular software and then put the pieces together afterwards. Um, so this video will kind of describe our build process. Uh, it doesn't look the same for every box that we make, but this, is, this will give you a general idea of how we build our boxes. Um, so this one is for Toya. And going in, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I had just designed Gemini with the sliding system. And so I kind of wanted that whole front wall to slide, uh, similar to how it does in Gemini. And next, I knew that I wanted to push out sliders on the back side or money tiles. I knew this was going to be a kid's box. So I wanted it to be pretty easy, maybe have three um, $100 bills to discover along the way. Um, so here I am just kind of putting the pieces together and getting an initial concept for the box. As you can see, they're in all different rainbow colored uh, tiles and plates. We don't really pay too much attention to color kind of going in, just getting it, uh, the idea or the shell of what we want. Um, so as you can see here, I accidentally put plates on the top of that slider instead of a tile. Uh, so that was one change that I had to make going in, just allowing that whole wall to move. And then I tested it back out. I got that first money piece. And then the second money piece I wasn't supposed to get until I had moved the wall. So uh, that was a problem. I needed to be able to put a stopper there or something um, in order to block that piece from going until it was until that front wall was slid over. So here I'm getting the first money piece. And then in this one, I could just torque it just enough to slide that second money piece without having moved that wall over. Uh, and that was a design error that needed to be fixed. I wanted you to have to move that front wall over in order to get that second money. So we're putting just some stoppers in uh, to block that from happening. Just putting more dividers in. So now we can get that first money piece. And then in order to get that second one, you had to slide the wall over to get that second money tile. And then you could slide the tool all the way through to get that third money piece. Um, so that was the design one. Next, I felt like that box was way too big for what it was. It was mostly empty space in the middle. So essentially I rebuilt it all. Uh, just a lot smaller. I thought that would be better for kids. I thought it was more suitable to what the puzzle actually was. Okay, so now note the solve iteration here. Um, we made it a little bit more difficult to where you have to insert the tool and slide that wall over in order to solve the box. Um, that piece kept popping off. It was only on a one by one brick, but we'll change that when we uh, rebuild it to make that a lot stronger. So now uh, that first one pops out, you insert the key to slide the second one out, and that clears the way for the third one. And so here I am now, just kind of keeping that same design that would ended up being the final design, and now we're just making it pretty with a bunch of um, similarly colored plates uh, so that it has a cohesive design look to it. Um, and as you probably know from seeing the final product of Toya, it changed one more time just to make it a little more whimsical, more kid-like. Here we have the finished box, or what I thought was going to be the finished box. Uh, and then just when you think you're done, it goes through another design iteration. I added the smile. I thought it was more appropriate for kids. Um, it kind of brought it to life a little bit more. Um, so that's the design process of Toya. This is a very small box, but it kind of gives you an idea of uh, our design process. Most of our boxes go through several iterations. We test them on each other. We figure out what works, what doesn't work, how it's breaking, and we try to make them the best we can for you guys. All right, we'll see you on the next video.